somebody said hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel is loud and sharp so we're going to go with something else today hey friends welcome back to our channel it's your girl you know i came me at day sola if you're seeing this face for the very first time please be kind enough to click on that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber well you know what's up over here you know how we do it uh anyways um today we're gonna be talking about 10 ways to level up in your trainers first point for me well in no particular order but the first thing i'll be talking about is planning um we all know the saying that if you fail to plan then you plan to fail this saying is so is it, it, it's so true because if you are not actually planning anything like you're just living life as it comes as the day goes by you're just taking it one day at a time of course you should take life one day one day at a time but you should have your day plan out you should have your month planned out you should have your life planned out you should know what you want and when you want it and how you want it and and the way you're going to go about getting it so um you should plan your day if not you just end up being unproductive so what i did was i got a planner i would write down what i wanted to do for the day what i wanted to do for the month and you know i have my year plan there the things i want to do for the year 2021 i have it in my planner so the, the the benefit of planning is that you even if you cannot achieve everything in your planner or in your plan you'd you at the end of the day still be able to achieve the most important things then the reason is because you already have everything planned out so you can start carrying it out in order of importance so that is for planning so another way to level up in your 20s is educating yourself when i say educating yourself i don't really mean um going to school getting a degree or something well that is part of it you should at least have a degree to your name but what i mean by educating yourself is try to know the basic things i'm talking about etiquette mannerism you know how to relate with people and all of that your mannerism how to talk to people basically so we should get uh education on all these things you know we should read books we should talk to people and all of that so the next thing i'd say is exploring in your 20s if you're not exploring then i don't know i i really don't know when you plan to explore for real because in your 20s you should be going out you should be trying out new things you should be you know you should be meeting new people you should be trying out new food seeing other people's culture like you just are the things that you should be doing in your 20s like if you're not doing it in your 20s then uh, i really don't know i don't know honestly because in your 20s your 20s is when you actually have the time and the patience to like learn these things just basically exploring try out new things you know talk to people meet other people from different place from where you are from and um you know try out new food see how other people's culture are you know you it, 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 I, I know somewhere in your mind you're going to be saying with which money but you don't actually even have to travel to these places if you do not have the money it's something that you can do from the comfort of your living room you know you can you know watch movies that are beyond or out of your or out of your comfort zone watch these movies it's part of exploring trying out new things also not just things that you're comfortable with try out things that you are not comfortable with so that is what i mean by exploring uh now the next thing i'm going to talk about is knowing your circle and what do i mean by knowing your circle you shouldn't waste the whole of your 20s fighting fake friends and knowing and you know just having issues with somebody that is supporting you somebody who isn't your 20s you should be able to separate who is for you and who isn't for you and this just isn't about friendship also family there are family members that would not support you that you know you people's way you people's path just will not align so your 20s is when you should be sure of who is really of who is really for you your 20s you should be able to be like okay this person 
um this person is for me this person supports me this person you know contributes to my growth and those are the people i am going to be sticking with you shouldn't be bothered about oh, one fake friend that is still talking behind your back and all of that it's not that you should not be bothered but your 20s is when you should be sure when you should know who exactly is who in your life so that is that about knowing your circle uh, another point is confidence as a person if you want to level up in your 20s you have to build your confidence level some people have very low self-esteem if you are a shy person you have to find a way to get rid of your shyness in your 20s you know you have to be bold you have to be you have to be loud you have to be able to speak up for yourself and for others you have to be confident in yourself like if you're not confident in yourself is it me you want to be confident in so you have to be confident in yourself um so another thing i'm going to talk about is priorities arranging priorities is for of us is having priorities so when you have those priorities you arrange it in order of importance so if your priority is your body your fitness yeah know that by the end of every month there is something you must achieve relating to your to your body so your body is your priority if your finances is your priority know that's going to be on the top of your priority list if it is your relationship know that is going to be on top of your priority list that is how you have your priorities and you arrange them in an order of importance also setting goals this is almost the same as uh having priorities and also planning so for setting goals you have to you should have goals now when i'm talking about setting goals it could be any kind of goal actually it could be financial goals physical goal spiritual goal um fitness goal um relationship goal anything could be your goal actually but the point is you should have these goals you should have those goals and uh, and the essence of having this goal is you're working towards something this is your aim this is your aim this is what you're working towards this is where you're heading to you're not just living your life as it comes you're heading towards something you have a purpose so that's the um reason for having a goal now the next thing i'm going to talk about is asking questions people of this generation they find it so hard to ask questions you know i once had somebody that traveled out of where she resides and she got lost like she actually missed her way and i was like you could have asked people around like um what kind of bus are you supposed to take or the next bus stop or what and she was like i don't know that she was scared of asking questions then i asked her why exactly are you scared of asking questions and she was like uh people would see her as dumb as stupid as somebody who isn't sharp and all of that and you know it actually made me laugh and why would you prefer to get lost to miss your way than asking somebody what you should do next like can you I, I, I like can you understand and for some people actually it's not even asking questions they do not like being corrected in your 20s you should get rid of that habit some people when you correct them they feel bad you know the look on their face will change and all of that there's nothing wrong with being corrected i remember a day i went out with a friend and we were talking about massage or something and i remember i was i think i said chi um chiropractor that was what i said and it was like do you mean chiropractor and i was like okay yeah thanks exactly that's what i, I was happy because i know that next time I'm not going to pronounce it wrongly i'm going to say the right thing so whenever people correct me i'm always glad to ask questions and you know take it in and make sure that i do not make the same mistake next time so it's very simple don't be too shy or don't feel too big to to ask questions there is nothing wrong with asking questions the last and not the least which personally i feel like is the most important for me is discipline for every point it is like you should know what you're doing you should have your head on straight for instance if you're a content creator you know you have to put out three four content in a, in a week then you should push yourself 
So doing that, if you if you work nine to five, you should know that you should be off by seven. Do your chores, you know, get dressed, get ready, be out of the house by seven o'clock. If you are a vlogger, you should know you should be off by seven a.m., eight a.m. to you know put things in place and start your daily vlogging. So whatever you're doing, whatever you are, whatever path you've chosen to take, discipline is the foundation. If you are not disciplined, you cannot set financial goals and stick to it. You cannot set um, fitness goals and stick to it. You cannot even set a personal goal and stick to it if you are not disciplined. So discipline goes along. I'm going to leave you guys with three things today. The first thing is know yourself. The second thing is always give room for growth when the third thing is know when to say yes and know when to say no so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoy this video i hope you like it and if you do please give it a thumbs up and um if you have not still if you've still not clicked the subscribe button up until this moment please do so right now i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one